Hello, I'm Mike Looney, Superintendent of Fulton County Schools. The past 150 years have witnessed tremendous change for the Fulton County School System. From the little schoolhouse with only a few desks and a horse-drawn school buggy, to the modern campuses with high-tech labs and media centers. The Innovation Academy and Global Impact Academy indicate that spirit of innovation is what sets our school system apart and has helped shape our communities. We've got a few more months to go before Global Impact Academy opens, but you can already see how our unique school design complements instruction. Our STEM-focused curriculum and state-of-the-art technology put scholars in a position to change the world, to make a global impact. Innovation Academy may look like a school from yesteryear, but when you come inside, you'll see it's anything but. Large open spaces allow students and teachers to collaborate and each classroom has the latest in technology to prepare students for a career in engineering, healthcare, or IT. At the turn of the century, Fulton's fourth superintendent, Marion Britton, oversaw the first effort to transform the county schools, moving from classes from one-room cabins to multi-room academies, where students could be grouped by grade levels. In 1932, Fulton County merged with Campbell County to the south and Milton County to the north, doubling the number of students in the school system. The merger also gave Fulton the unusual elongated outline it has now. That shape has also changed when in 1952, Atlanta spread its city limits into parts of Fulton County, adopting 39 of the county schools, as well as taking half the student population. Effectively, splitting Fulton County schools into two non-contiguous sections, making Fulton the only system with this type of geography in America. And in the 1960s, schools that were once separated by race began integration, forming a more inclusive student body in shaping our future communities. Later in the 1980s, approximately 40 schools with dwindling student populations closed or were consolidated due to a statewide mandate, leaving Fulton County with only 53 schools. In the years following, new schools were modestly added to the district's portfolio, partly due to the ups and downs of population growth and also because large-scale construction funding required borrowing through long-term bonds. But explosive enrollment in the 1990s and 2000s led to 51 new schools in those two decades alone. Families were flocking to Fulton County Schools for its excellent reputation and schools were bursting at their seams. Fortunately, a new one penny education sales tax called SPLOST had become a major funding source for capital needs. And this led to a boom in school construction. Interactive whiteboards have replaced dusty chalkboards and student devices for instruction are in every classroom. Buzzer systems and high definition video systems keep schools safe and school buses with seat belts are moving to more eco-friendly propane power. A walk through a media center looks more like a tech startup with maker spaces and breakout rooms. And although books are still plentiful, the encyclopedias and research materials taking up rows of shelving are now online leaving more open space for students to work together. Today, the Fulton County School System includes more than 100 schools and support buildings. The one-room schoolhouse is a memory of the past, but the foundation it laid exists in the heart of every school. 